2020 is finally here. You know what that means. It's going to be the year of the cyberpunk. That's right, in 2020 there's going to be all sorts of cyberpunk stuff such as cybernetic implants, hacking, high-tech weaponry, various gangs fighting turf wars every other day, mega corporations being in charge of everything, remote hacking somebody's brain and taking control of them. What? It could happen! So I took it upon myself to review a movie that takes place in 2020. And believe me when I say this is something you have never seen before. It's uh, one of those see it to believe it scenarios. I still can't believe I saw this movie. It's a movie called Droid and well, it's quite something. I don't think I can classify this as a movie. Oh good, the Star Wars opening crawl. What a great start. Los Angeles, 2020 AD. Do we want oh geez, it looks like a Madonna music video. So this chick is giving a speech on sexual liberation or some shit like that. I have to say, these people do a good job of emulating the crowd from 1984. Okay, I guess I should try to explain the story, or lack of, since that text crawl was so helpful. This is Taylor, an Eliminator, basically this movie's version of the Blade Runner, only not cool at all. He's investigating a case where this device, a decoder, has been stolen. The decoder can shut off all robot cops if fallen into the wrong hands, which begs the question of why this robot cop was standing here waiting to be shot. Oh yeah, the robot cops. You see, they're the ones who've been put in charge of policing. They have a striking appearance with their black outfits and Uzis that fire lasers. Robot cops? Are you kidding me? You're not gonna use them to take over the world? Or well, what's the point in having them around? So he heads to this place called the Pleasure Dome and get used to seeing this place because at least 90% of the movie happens here. Hey look, Batman! Looks like he's gained weight. <coughs> yep, lots of cheering and stuff. Yeah, keep cheering. Welcome to the Pleasure Dome! Thanks, Peter Dinklage. Oh man, this scene goes on forever! This chick dancing, crowd cheering, this dude, chick dancing, a guy with a bugle in the crowd, wait, what? What's he doing there? Now there's a guy with a saxophone, god damn. Didn't I pleasure you? Sorry baby, business before pleasure. <laughs> Whoa, nice reflexes there, slick. Eliminator, you spilled your lubie! Tastes like shit anyway. And my sister tells me you don't like the show. Aren't you buying tonight? His sister? What? Hey, remember Deckard's apartment from Blade Runner the first time we see it? Him just looking over the city. Well, in this movie, let's just have this guy lounge around in his robe. Yeah, totally tops Deckard's apartment scene. Rochester. Rochester, come in here, boy. Come on, boy. Please do not refer to me in an animal fashion. Oh my! Looks like somebody's quite fun of Michael Jackson. I speak in abundance of languages, including Plutotian, Eurasian, and Jive. Hit me, Taylor! <laughs> it speaks Jive. I bet it also speaks both Ebonics and Ghetto. That was Simpson, Chief Hey, wait a second! This is the same scene from the beginning of the movie! What the hell? Oh great, another show. Wonderful. So after that, our character gets some alone time with the chick. What an important scene. Moving on, this woman is Taylor's ex-wife. You see, Taylor promised her he would do one last job before moving off of Earth. But this is the classic case of being married to the job, so she left him. That's real funny, considering the divorce court would have enacted some sort of alimony, or maybe seize a part of his assets in the form of money, enough to get off this rock. I like how she's got the whole Rachel look going for her. Talk about desperate cash-in. Okay, I cannot ignore this any longer. This whole movie looks cheap. It looks like it was shot on some home video camera. Everything from the background to the props, the whole thing just looks ugly. It's like they wanted to cash in on Blade Runner without putting any effort into it. Hell, cyberpunk fan films look better than this one. 
The editing is also terrible. There are scenes that constantly repeat themselves in an effort to stretch out the length. A lot of scenes don't make sense and jump around from one place to the next. You want to know something about this movie? <laughs> You're not going to believe it. I couldn't believe it. This movie was edited, was spliced together out of another movie. Well, porn movie to be exact. Droid is made up of scenes from a porno called Kabarat Sin. Basically, it's the same movie, except all the sex scenes were removed in order to sell it as a sci-fi movie. That explains the shitty editing. <laughs> so I'm reviewing a non-porno porno movie. So, yeah, this chick is getting paid for a job that we don't know what it was about. I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with the plot whatsoever. Meanwhile, our main character is just being mopey and sad about his ex-wife. What's wrong with me? Eliminators aren't supposed to have feelings. Mm. I've got to hold back. But she's so beautiful. Oh, give it a break. Oh, look, they even have a flashback. Cold. You know, I missed you so much. Taylor. You were a long, long time ago. I told you. Damn it! Why did you walk out on me? Didn't you know I loved you? You loved me? You loved your money. And most of all, you loved your job. Oh god, it's a typical couple's argument. I loved you! You don't love me, you love the job! Damn it! Why can't I walk off this job right now? Why can't I walk out of reviewing this goddamn movie? So, a bunch of more shit happens, Taylor confronts this guy, gets chased out, and is almost killed by Fat Man. Why, hello, stock footage. Whoa, and now he's wearing a suit. Man, this movie is shit. Well, at least he's got the whole Miami Vice look going for him. Turns out it's the wife who stole the decoder. Who would have guessed? Fuck the system. Of course. And just like that, it's happily ever after. <laughs> I wish. Oh look, Fat Man is still alive! Looks like he wants to say something. Sure thing, Soundwave. So yeah, he's just chilling out in his apartment. Wife is in the shower. Don't you guys believe in knocking? Well, they're robots. They have no manners. Nicola, get out of here! Yes, get out of there! After you're done showering, that is. Oh no, they're gonna capture her. I can feel the bones in my body just tensing up watching this scene. And she's gone. Predictable. Taylor is taken to this place and is given the good old interrogation treatment. Look at this chunky motherfucker. We're supposed to take him serious? Please. Can't you see she's taking you for a ride? Tell us where she is. Oh, the old silent treatment, huh? Well, I think we have an answer for that. That's right, they inject him with drugs. And of course, he gets released in the state he's in. Oh hey, it's Robot Michael Jackson! Funny seeing him here. This dude is drugged out of his mind, so his priority is going to the bar to get drunk. You know what? That's probably what the actor did in real life after starring in this festering shit of a movie. Now we got this scene with this woman popping some kind of pill. What the hell? What is this movie gonna be over? The torture of just watching this is going on forever. Yeah, he's just drinking and sulking away. Maybe thinking about his life choices. Oh, you're alive. What the? Where the hell were you, toots? 
She begs him to get out of this joint, but he can't let the booze go to waste. I have seen this footage so many times, it's driving me nuts up the wall. Okay, the sight of that woman entering the vehicle is quite funny. I mean, look at it. What the hell is this? What the hell is that? Is that a car? More like a discount Beetleborg robot. Oh, that's wonderful. The bitch doesn't know how to start the car, and now they're caught. Hey, where the hell were you? Showed up in the beginning and disappeared until the last minute. Eliminator, you're eliminated. Haha, <laughs> get eliminated. Get it? Because he's an eliminator, even though he hasn't eliminated anyone. No, all he does is hang out at the club, get wasted, and bang women. Oh, and gets interrogated. Instead, Jackson Bot 2000 shoots the woman, but gets shot in the process. Well, I guess this is it. Now we'll never hear him speak jive. Well, you're not gonna leave me lying here in the mud, are you? Never mind. What a cop out. Hell, this lady is still alive, despite taking a laser blast. <laughs> yep. Now you believe me when I say this is something you have never seen before. Even by B-movie standards, this is still a pile of dung. <sighs> to try and make a sci-fi movie out of a porno. <sighs> I bet the producers were both high and wasted when they came up with that idea. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Let me tell you this. Everything that happened in that movie will not happen in real life will not happen in 2020 or beyond. I can guarantee you that. So, with this review out of the way, hope you enjoy the new year and look forward to more reviews soon. Mm -hmm.